In this video, we will be going over how to configure WAVE permissions and privileges, and how to batch deploy WAVE desktop via Microsoft Intune. On the UCM administration web portal, go to the user management page and click on the user portal WAVE privileges tab. Here, you can see the list of all available privileges, which are sets of permissions that you can create and configure. The default privilege has access to all available WAVE features and functions, and is the default privilege for all users. Clicking on the Edit button for a privilege will allow the user to see all available permissions. As an example, we will disable the chat, end-to-end -end encrypted chat, and video call permissions for the default privilege. Modifying a currently used privilege will log out all users with that privilege. As you can see, the chat feature and the video call feature are no longer available for this account. Now we will go over how to pre-install and pre-configure WAVE add-ins for a privilege. In this example, we will edit the default privilege again. Scroll down until you see the pre-installed apps permission. Make sure that it is enabled and click on the configure button. From here, you can see the add-in name and parameter fields. You must enter the correct information into these fields. Please reference the add-in configuration guide that is linked to make sure that you are entering the correct information. Once you are done, save and apply changes. Users using this privilege will be logged out. After logging back in, you will now see that the add-ins that were configured are now installed, and the fields are now pre-filled. With this, users will be able to quickly access the apps they need. You can use Microsoft Intune to batch deploy WAVE desktop and initial settings to Windows and Mac clients. Please refer to our How to Deploy WAVE Desktop Clients in Batches user guide for a detailed step-by-step -step on this process. Thank you for listening.